Hi there. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie. I am a mom to seven. We homeschool and I decided for this next month I am going to do some videos on what curriculum has worked for us and how we use it. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about today is teaching textbooks. I am really excited to tell you about this. In fact, when we discovered and switched over to teaching textbooks, I was so excited because there was such a switch, which I'll talk about in a minute, there was such a switch in the attitude toward math in our home that I actually contacted teaching textbooks asking if there's any way that I could partner with them to help spread the word. So that's what's happening today. They actually have been so generous to offer a giveaway for a year subscription to one of you and I'm going to talk about all that later. But first, let me explain to you a little bit of our backstory. Since my kids were young, we have primarily used Matthew C and it has been really great. For my younger kids, it, it went well. They, you know, got that foundation of adding and subtracting. However, as my kids have gotten older, we have been having some frustrations. There was kind of a breakdown of the understanding when it came to learning new concepts. They were watching the DVDs that came with the curriculum and getting to the end and still drawing a blank, not understanding, starting on this workbook page, and it then came to, I'm trying to explain what we just heard in the DVD, and they were getting frustrated with me, and it was just turning into this daily battle. They were dreading doing the math. Since we have switched over to teaching textbooks, there has been a shift of an attitude toward math in my home, like I was saying. And as I've analyzed this and tried to figure out why, I think that there's two major reasons. One is that my role in math has changed. I am now in the supporting role. I am coming alongside my child as the encourager, the cheerleader, and helping them rather than being the one that their frustration is aimed at when I'm trying to explain a new concept. Math has never been my favorite subject, and so having me try to help explain these things to them was not ideal. Now they listen to the lecture on teaching textbooks and the lecture is interactive. So it will talk and then pause so that they can, the student can answer a question to make sure that they are understanding and engaged as they go along. They can't just tune out. When it gets to the end of the lecture and the questions start, teaching textbooks also reads every question to the student. I have a couple kids that struggle a little bit with reading. I had one that had some slight dyslexia. It is such a blessing that they are audibly hearing everything read to them. Also, the second reason that I think that, that this is going so well is that my child knows immediately if their answer is right or wrong. One problem that we were having when they were completing worksheets is they would get all the way through that. I would go back to check their answers and discover maybe they didn't understand something right and they did that entire page wrong. They would be so frustrated because it felt like all their effort was wasted. Now they know immediately if they got an answer wrong and there is an option to have teaching textbooks break that down and explain to them how that problem should be done. You can also um, turn on the option for them to have a second chance that they could try again. Sometimes, especially with um, all the multi-digit multiplication and as you move beyond that, it can just be a simple mathematical error that you wrote something wrong. And so they can look back over their work, check it over and see if they could just try it again. Maybe it was something simple. So the way we use teaching textbooks is my younger children start still with Matthew C and they complete the alpha level to give them that foundation. Teaching textbooks starts at a level that kind of I feel like flows nicely right after that alpha level. So their teaching textbooks first level is called level three. This does not mean grade three and I think that's a little bit of confusion. But my second grader who um, math is not her favorite subject, but she easily started out with math three and it's just been moving through just fine with her. So they start with teaching textbooks. They use uh, dry erase boards if necessary 
to write out any work that needs to happen it's more for my older kids with the multiplication and the division and as you know things get really long they'll write it out on there then enter in their answer on the teaching textbook site and they are immediately um, said would you know that that was wrong or they need to try again Every, all the language is very encouraging or they say yay you got it right you know move on to the next question and so there's that constant dialogue back and forth between um, the computer and themselves it is very engaging as you go a few of the options that kids have are to change their little buddies or to have nobody at all if that bothers them but it's just little cartoon guys who kind of cheer them on as they go they can change the way things look on the page they can customize it to their preferences so they feel like they have some control over that also um, we for my older kids in addition to teaching textbooks, we just use your plain old flashcards to reinforce, you know, your multiplication and division problems. So we do use that in addition. Okay, let me continue on with my notes here because I was so excited to share this with you that I wrote a few things down. Okay, a few features on the online curriculum. So this is Teaching Textbooks 3.0. I, as the parents, still have complete control over the grades. So teaching textbooks is one of my favorite things about them is they grade everything and all of those grades are stored online. You will have access to them forever. Even if you don't have an online subscription anymore, you can still go access your grades. You can print the grades off if you need to store them in your records. However, I still have control over the grades. I have had kids accidentally hit the wrong key and be so frustrated because it was marked wrong. No big deal. I can go into my parental controls, which is password protected, and change that to the correct answer so that it reflects correctly on their scores. Also, sometimes um, I have a couple kids who are a little bit of perfectionists and they would be very frustrated to see the X's marked wrong on things that they felt like they knew how to do that, they just didn't do it correctly for whatever reason. I have the option if I want to give them a chance and say, hey, do that problem for me, show me how you can do it, looks good to me, I'm gonna go in and change that to a right answer. So I have that control. Another bonus from teaching textbooks is they have incredible customer service. I have called several times about various things and when you call, you get a real person who's ready to talk to you. They also have free tutoring for students. We've not had to use that yet, but it's just great to know that that is there. You can use teaching textbooks not only on your computer, although that is the ideal setup, but you can use it on mobile devices. So if you had an iPad, tablet, mobile phone, they have a link on their website that they can walk you through how to set that up. And that has actually proven to be helpful here because right now we just have one computer at home and I have four kids using teaching textbooks. So sometimes we want two kids using it at once and I have them um, one child work on our iPad. So for those of you who have those kind of iPad things, you know that the nature of them makes it a little trickier to navigate websites than just using a computer, but you do have that option if you need to be on the go. So what do my kids like about this? I am actually going to ask them what they like, and at the end of this video, I will put those clips on there. Um, I can tell you right away that they like having the buddies because I see them clicking through those a lot. Um, they like that the, the immediate reinforcement if they you know know that they're wrong or right right away and they like being able to have second chances so those are just a few things that I've heard um, I just this week we walked a child through learning long division and with this particular child I was kind of dreading it because I know their tendencies when they're learning new concepts but it went amazingly well and they listened to the online a lecture we talked it over actually with their dad and by day two they were doing it no problem themselves so I was pretty wowed and pretty grateful so 
what does it cost? If you look on, I will put the link below in the description box. I'm going to have a link to the um, pricing page because different levels have different prices. There's also a large family discount, which of course is perfect for families of our size. Actually, if you get four or more kids, you're going to find that you save a lot of money doing the large family discount because at that point, it's one flat fee, whether you have four or five or six or seven or eight kids on it. So that is the way to go. What works is that you sign up for a one year subscription for that child or the large family plan and you have one year to complete that level. So let's say you need to sign up for level four. You sign up now, you'll have one year to complete it. However, if you are going on vacation or you just want to take some time off, you can go into your parent page and pause your subscription and it'll extend it for that however many days until you start it again. You can pause several times and it can be a total up to three months. You guys, I am a busy mom <laughs> and so Anything that kind of takes the pressure off of an area that I was feeling stressed, um, I'm pretty sold on it. So pardon my enthusiasm, but this has been a blessing for me. It, it took something that was a huge stress and it turned it into a very manageable area in our life. So that's why I'm so excited. The only trick that I had was trying to figure out uh, what levels would be appropriate for my kids when we first started. And so to help with that on their website, which again, I'll put another link for this below, you can sign up for free trials. You can try out every single level. Basically, they have the first 15 lessons available for free. If you just um, sign up to try it, you just pick a level to assign to that child because it will come up on your computer. They'll come up, you know, if you assign, you know, like my second grader, if you sign them to level three, it'll come up on level three. You'll get to access the first 15 lessons. So you can try it out. Of course, um, like all math curriculums, when it first starts out, there's a lot of review and it's pretty simple no matter what level you start out with. And so to really get a better understanding, they have placement tests available that you can print out and give to your child and there's a scoring on there that helps you decide what level to put them in. So you can do that. I also, myself, just knowing where my kids are or were in their last curriculum, I went through and read the indexes of the levels that I was considering putting them in. And so the placement test, the looking through the free uh, lessons combined with looking at that overview of what they'll learn that year helped me place my kids and I'm actually really happy of where everybody's at. You know, I was kind of a little nervous at first, but it worked out just fine. They're doing great. I think that teaching textbooks is a very um, user-friendly math program, especially for kids who may not be natural math whizzes. Um, it's very easy to understand. They do review of the concepts already learned plus a few of the thing that you just learned on each lesson. So they're kind of get, getting that um, continual um, remembrance instead of just we learn something once, we do it for a week or two, and now we move on to something new. I know there's an official name for this and I even somebody even told me what it was and I can't remember now. But basically you will continue to review things that you've already learned so that you don't forget those skills. So even for my older kids, they'll have addition problems thrown in there just to keep practicing that because you don't want to lose those skills. So in addition to being able to head over and check out those um, free trials on all of the levels, like I mentioned at the beginning of my video, Teaching Textbooks has been so generous to offer a giveaway. So one of you will win a full year subscription to the online curriculum. So if you look down in my description box, I have the link and all the details to go ahead and take advantage of that. I'm so excited that I get to share this with you. Please be sure to ask me if you have any questions and I will answer those in the comments below. Now I'm going to show you what some of my kids say that they like about this curriculum. 
I like teaching textbooks because um, you don't have to um, constantly look down at your paper to see what the problem is because it, it reads it for you. I think um, it's really nice mm -hmm. and fun and easy way to... It seems like nice. you are having an easier time understanding new concepts. I noticed before with our last curriculum you were feeling frustrated with trying to listen to the DVD and understand what they were saying. It seems like it's going easier for you. What do you think about that? Yeah, a lot easier. In the beginning... Um, because with the yeah. DVD you have, let's say you read, uh, you watch it and then you take it out. But then you don't understand it and then I, you have to come over here and explain it. But with the teaching textbooks, you just press play again under the um, problem and it replays it over the... And there's also words up there so you can read if you want. Do you like doing the computer version better than the iPad version or? I don't mind either way, but the computer is way faster because the iPad I don't think is meant for um, right. doing Right, it that lags kind of a little stuff. bit. It lags, but it, you still can do it and it's not Yeah, as bad. we have an older iPad, but it works. Like I just appreciate, Leo, that um, there's... You just happily do your math now. <laughs> you just do it, and I think that's just a good thing. It's it's made it to more of a routine for you that you just do it by yourself. I don't know. It's just going a lot better with you. Thank you for sharing your input. Okay, this year Elsie is second grade, and she's been working on the very first level of teaching textbooks. So, Elsie, what do you like about teaching textbooks? I like that there are like really fun bonus rounds and that like it's like fun. The bonus rounds are really fun and in fact other people like to cheer for you while you're doing those because yeah. they're kind of like a game show aren't they? Uh huh. They're like a game every six lessons. About okay. every six lessons. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Samuel doesn't get to do teaching textbooks quite yet. He's in kindergarten but he likes to sit and watch the other kids. He's it's not fun watching to watch, me. isn't it? He's typing the numbers. Oh, you saying. tell him what to type? Well, that's fun. Okay, carry on. Isabella is one of the reasons that we wanted to switch to teaching textbooks because you were really struggling to understand the last math program and feeling frustrated about that. And math was kind of like a daily dreaded thing. So, how do you feel now that you've been doing teaching textbooks this year? It's not it's like no. well, my in the lecture it explains everything before and then it has um what is it called? I can't remember. In the lecture it explains everything before and then it has practices where it's like practice A, practice B, practice how many practice C, practice D, practice E, and then it does problem one to make sure you really know what you're doing. And then on problem one, it has quizzes to make sure also you really know what you're doing before you just jump in. And it tells you right away if you're wrong or right. So you know, oh, that's not right, and I can do it over. Because I was doing like whole pages at a time, and then they would be all wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like so frustrated. And it's not a lot of writing. I mean, I still have to rub down and dry erase to do the answers, but it's not a whole lot of writing. Probably my favorite thing on teaching Texas is like the wallpaper in the books. How you can choose your own wallpaper. Right now I have elk, because I thought that was cool. But I have nobodies, but here I'll go to settings. There's sound, you can turn your buddy sound on and off. Here's the buddies. I have nobody. There's different... And buddies. the buddies do different things. They cheer in they different talk. ways when you get it right. Yeah. Each frog. level of teaching textbooks yeah. has new buddies. So when you were on... Math six, you have different, but you had a frog buddy. Yes. That you liked. Yes. She was cool. But now on seven, you have a lot of it. I like. I like the beginning of this. Here, let's do different wallpaper. But the dog's kind of weird. There's different things. I thought that the city was pretty cool. And then there's just plain wallpaper. And what is the sound feature? Sound feature. Hold on. Up. Buddy sounds only. You want so, on or off. So your buddy can talk and cheer you on. And if you don't like them, just turn it off. Some people are distracted by the noise. You can yes. turn that off. And time, time, oh, this is like um, hints 
um, sparkles way to go like you know you just little job, cheers little or cheers. sound effects yes. you can turn on or off I also on. so the student gets to control all of this according to what they like and they can change it at any time look at my dog the beginning that's here. pretty cute